So here's the bag of seed I'm going to throw down. It's from Pennington. It is winter rye. That's what it's called. They're winter grazer 70 rye. And it's grain rye, winter rye, cereal rye. It's not rye grass. And uh, the people I follow on YouTube and comment back and forth give some great advice. So this is just the seed I'm going to throw down. So thanks to everybody on the YouTube that uh, communicate back and forth. Um, this circle right here, right by the feeder, I'm going to make a little... I'll make a little food plot right here. But I already made like two passes, two or three passes with that groundhog. Look what it does already. I didn't even cut the grass. It's already tearing it up. So I'm just going to keep going around in a circle here and see if I can make this, turn this hillside into dirt. So this is after like a half an hour, I guess. Man, little, it, it's a lot harder than you think because without power steering, this one doesn't, this doesn't have power steering. You can see how there's like rut, like right in front of me there. See that rut? If your wheels go into rut, what it does is it makes this have to plow more and it, it jumps around and, and the steering wheel kicks out of your hand. So uh, this, this is actually really nice. It's, it's deep. It really tore it up pretty deep. And it's, I'm doing it with virgin soil. Like, this hasn't been plowed. This is basically straight grass. A, grace, a grass field. And I got to make a couple passes. Like, I think right here, you can see how that's what it looks like when it first goes through. It slices it. And the more and more you go through... It just loosens it up. I can't get 
this to adjust any higher up, which means it wouldn't dig in as deep, so it's, it keeps getting clogged. But this is it. I think it did pretty good. I would say it's a say it's good to the end here. So this is the end. I think it's 40 yards by 40 yards by 30 yards. And you can see how it flips that dirt right around like that. But that's what's getting stuck in there, the clumps of grass. We got some pelletized lime here. I'm gonna spread this down. I didn't do a soil sample, so I don't know what the pH is, but up here it's usually very low, so it won't hurt to throw it down no matter what. So let me get to spreading. All right, there it is. That's 10 40 pound bags. That's 400 pounds of lime here. I started off with the little spreader. That lasted about three minutes. And I was like, no way. So I started spreading it by hand. Now I'm gonna go get a drag and uh, drag this around to mix it in better. So that's what it looks like when the the chain haro is pulling i guess backwards if you can see how these the drags here are facing that way 
Well, if I spin this around and pull it from that direction, going that way, it'll really be digging in. So let's take these hooks off here. And they've got hooks on both ends. And I'll spin the chain around and drag it this direction and see what it does when these things really dig into the ground. Now you can see the direction. See, they're facing the opposite way, so they should be digging in. Let's see what happens that way. I'm not too sure reversing it made a difference, but it definitely brung all the grass clumps up and piled them up as it was dragging. You can see, look at all this loose grass clumps. All that dead grass will die, but you can see the humps out there. There's a big pile there. I feel like it should be like maybe three times as long. That's only four foot by four foot. I think this... These drags, instead of just being four foot, it needs to be like all the way back to here. That way it's dragging for a while. But yeah, I don't think these things, doesn't matter which way you face it. Just the tips are dragging. It doesn't really dig in. It kind of just drags along. But I'm assuming you could buy another section because it has hooks on both sides. And you could just hook another section right onto it with that bar you just don't need the chain part of it just the bar hook that on there 